guys so i completely forgot to update throughout the day but that's mainly because i was getting scoring done and because i just finished one of us is lying this was a ride oh my goodness um so first of all for this book uh there are trigger warnings for uh drug abuse alcohol abuse um, mental illness suicide school shootings there are a lot of trigger warnings in this book uh that i feel like aren't talked about just because i don't know some people might see them as spoilers or something but those still kind of need to be shared but i gave this book four stars it was fun to read um uh there are definitely it definitely wasn't perfect um especially some of the romantic parts i just felt like we're just kind of thrown in there just because it was a teen book but I had a lot of fun reading this today I can't believe I read all 358 pages of it today while also managing to do school and go to a bible study but somehow that happened um tomorrow I'm probably gonna read Romanov uh so another mystery book I'm super excited for that but I'm also really tired so I'm gonna read my bible and go to sleep Hi guys, so it is day two of the stay at home a and I'm currently reading Romanoff. So I don't know what I thought this book was about. I think I thought it was a mystery book, but it's actually a fantasy historical fiction book, which I'm actually really enjoying. Um, I don't know, I just, I think it's really fun. So uh, we're gonna see how much reading I can get done today. I'm hoping to finish this book today since I don't have as much homework, but I'm also like, not as much in the mood to read right now. I don't know, it's probably just because I just started this book and once I get into it, like I won't be able to put it down because that's how it goes. But I'll keep you updated. So I just shot a video for just for Instagram because I needed to put my thoughts out about this book now, but I just finished Romanoff. And guys, this was so good. It was so good. Like, oh, oh my goodness. I just, I loved it so much at the beginning I thought I was like okay this is good this is good but it didn't hit me how good this book was until the last 50 pages and I loved everything from the fantasy to the tie-ins with a little bit of truth and a little bit of just I don't know what what's the word um conspiracy uh and the religious aspects i loved that and how the book was really about forgiveness and repentance in the end oh it was so good so good and also like this is the mo this is the one of the prettiest book covers i've ever seen i i'm so glad that i bought this book in a hardcover with this beautiful cover i'm so thankful but this book was so good and now i'm kind of just scared going into the next book because i don't think it could live up to Romanoff. Like, I don't think anything I'm going to read the rest of this month is going to compare to Romanoff. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to read Hunger Games and just count it as the book I've read in one place instead of um, just using One of Us is Lying for that just so I can read Hunger Games now because I don't really feel like reading Shadow and Bone, but everyone's telling me that I should read Shadow and Bone, so we'll see. Hi everyone. So uh, now that I've finished Romanoff, I've decided that I am going to read Hunger Games next. But, uh, fun fact, I also woke up this morning with an ear infection, which is super random when you're 21, but it happens and I really don't feel the best right now and I don't know that I really feel like reading, so I'm currently just like binging YouTube. I mean, it's book two, so I mean, at least it's book related, but I don't really feel like reading right now, so I might just give myself a break. Hi guys! So I'm the worst and I forgot to update a lot during Reading Rush. Uh, so I'm coming to you now with a book haul and a wrap up. So first of all, uh, I finished three books during Reading Rush. So not four and not my original TBR, but still three books. And like, that's still a pretty big deal. So the first book I read was One of Us is Lying and I had so much fun reading this. This was just a blast. I really recommend this book if you are looking for a fun mystery to read. Uh, I cannot wait to read One of Us is Next. It's like the next book I'm gonna buy, but I need to wait because I bought more books, but I really need to wait. The next book I read, guys, was so good. I'm gonna do a review of it soon, I promise, but it was Romanoff. Okay, so when I first started it, I didn't think I was gonna love it. It was a very slow burn novel for me. But then I got to the end 
Like those last 50 pages, I was just like, this is so good. I need everyone to read this book right now. I went back and I tapped all of like the absolutely beautiful quotes. You've got to read this book, guys. It's so good. And the last book I read for Reading Rush was supposed to be Shadow and Bone, but I wasn't in the mood, so I read Hunger Games. Uh, so this is a reread for me, gave it five stars because I love Hunger Games. I had a lot of fun rereading it just because just it just flew by. It was just a blast. I forgot how much fun it is reading those since I haven't read them since I was 13 years old. I had so much fun. My little sister is reading them too right now for the first time, so that's really exciting. Um, so I'm probably gonna wait a little while before I read Catching Fire because my sister's reading it pretty slowly and now I've finished the first book, so I've gotta, I've gotta slow it down. So now it's time for the book haul portion of this video. So I ordered one book and then I got my very first book of the month box. So I am very excited about both of these. Um, so I'm gonna open up this one first. So I told myself that I wasn't gonna buy this one yet. Um, and then I told myself that I was gonna buy it on Kindle, but then the Kindle price shot up and I have, have been having a really hard time reading on my iPad. Like it's been so bad. I just can't read on a screen. So I have to buy all my books in physical copy, which I'm not complaining about because I love physical books, but it's a little bit more expensive, but I bought the June boys. Ah, so I'm excited about this. Um, I'm actually not gonna be able to join in the Book Explosion live show probably because I have work at seven on Wednesdays. So I'll have to watch it after the fact or like catch the very end. Um, but I'm still so excited about reading this. I love mystery books and I'm just in the mood to read all the mystery books. So can't wait to read this book. Oh, I wanna read it next, but I do have to read Shadow and Bone first and finish my Owls Readathon TBR before I can read new books. And then we have my book of the month box. So I am like an affiliate, very loose termed, um, but I'm gonna leave the link down below and you can get your first box for them uh, for $5. If you use my link, that helps me out too. So please use that if you, if you just wanna sign up for one month and get like a book for $5 for your first month and then cancel it right after, I'm fine with that too. Um, but I decided to do this because you can get book of the month books and you know they're going to be really good because people have researched them and then you get them for cheaper and a lot of times they're early releases like that is such a good deal so i ended up getting two books this month and i'm having a really tar hard time opening this box like how does this open so i have a little print that says where were we and on the back says book of the month probably just a piece of paper i can use this as a bookmark though so the first book I got, I'm so ready for this because I'm in such a mystery mood, but it's The Guest List and this is an early release copy. So it's, I'm gonna read the back of this to you. The Guest List, an exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid. All of a secret, all have a motive, but only one is a murderer. Guys, I'm so ready for this. I don't read a ton of adult mystery. I don't read a ton of adult books in general because I just don't know where to start. But I'm looking forward to getting into more of those because I'm 21 and I feel like I should be reading more adult books and I do enjoy them. Okay, so because it's an early edition and it's Book of the Month Club, like it has like their logo, logo on it. Um, I don't mind because it's just special. And also this is, this is beautiful even without the dust jacket. Oh, it's gonna look so nice on my shelves. Oh, I love it already. And then next I got, I wanted this one in physical copy so badly, The Fountain of Silence by Ruta Sepetis. And oh, it's so pretty. I love this book cover. Honestly, I was gonna buy this book without reading the description because Ruta Sepetis writes historical fiction, and they're good and they're just beautiful and I wanted it because it's beautiful. Is that shallow of me? Probably a little. But I read Salt to the Sea uh, over Christmas break and it was it was pretty good. Um, but I'm really excited about this because this is about, this is set in Madrid in 1957. Uh, and I don't know anything about that history. And I feel like I read a lot of World War II history, like historical fiction books and I want to like 
I want to jump outside the box. I want to read new historical fiction books. So I'm so excited about this. This is a big book. So this is the perfect time to read it because I'm about to be done with classes and now is going to be the time to read it. But yeah, this is like about 500 pages. Oh, it's just so nice. It's yellow mustard-ish. I am so excited about all of these. And so that is it for my attempt at vlogging, reading rush, and my tiny mini book haul. Thank you for watching my video. Please follow and like this video if you liked it. Um, leave me down a comment below which, if you've read any of these books, um, and let me know what you're reading. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.